Captain Terry Butcher will be out of the game for at least three months after breaking his leg in last night's league match against Aberdeen at Ibrox. Player manager Graham Souness says his hope is that the England international will be fit to play in the European Cup quarter-finals in March. The match was only seven minutes old when Terry Butcher went down during an attack on the Aberdeen goal. He appeared to reach the ball, but his left shin collided with Alex McLeish's leg in the process. The Ibrox players realised immediately their captain was badly hurt, and within minutes, Graham Souness was aware of the consequences of what had happened. This morning, after visiting Butcher in hospital, the player manager was philosophical. <laughs> Obviously, he's very upset, but um, it was an accident. He doesn't blame anybody. Um, he's been in football long enough to realise that these things happen, and really his only aim now is to get himself ready as quickly as possible. What's the degree of injury? Well, he's fractured his tibia, which is his shin. Um, the specialist feels that um, it'll, knit, it'll knit itself um, without any surgery. So um, we're hopefully be ready for Europe, if not before. Our next round in Europe is March time, so hopefully um, he'll be back before then. He's obviously very crucial to your plans. What kind of blows well, Terry, it to the championship? Terry, um, last year, was possibly our most influential player. So we will miss him greatly this year, but um, you can talk about luck in football. I, I believe that luck evens itself out over a season. Hopefully it will for us. We've had a fairly traumatic period in the last few months, or even the last few weeks. And hopefully um, we can put them behind us and we can go on and get our game together um, and improve our league position. Of course, after losing Terry, you went on to lose at Ibrox for the first time in a year last night. How does that dent to your hopes for the championship? Well, that Two points was immaterial last night. I mean, we'd like to have won, great. But uh, losing Terry was more important, and that was sad. But we'll come back again. I mean, nobody will write off Rangers. News of Butcher's leg break was met with dismay by England manager Bobby Robson, who admits the Rangers captain's crucial to his hopes for the European Championship next year. 24 hours to the drama at Ibrox, where Rangers entertained Aberdeen in a league match watched by over 41,000 fans. Well, no one really expected a repeat of that six goal Skull Cup final thriller, but it was, for all that, a match which certainly wasn't short an incident. The first of which, after just a few minutes' play, when Chris Woods had to look very lively to make that fine save from Tom Jones. And then, with just six minutes gone, came the incident which no one likes to see on a football pitch. Davy Cooper's cross, Terry Butcher in to knock the ball over the bar, but the clash with Alex McLeish, which everyone realised immediately was serious, leading to the Rangers captain's broken leg. There it is again, fairly innocuous, but Butcher meeting with the shin of Alec McLeish and the expression there and Graham Souness's face down at the dugout tells the story. A fractured tibia and Butcher out for something like three or four months. Stuart Munro came on in his place and Rangers continued to press. Durant clean through there and Jim Layton getting down to make the first of a series of marvellous saves to keep Aberdeen in the match. And then the only goal after 31 minutes. The free kick on the left and just watch who is there to nod the ball into the net. Willie Miller. He doesn't score many, but when he does, they're good ones and they're valuable ones. That really was a textbook example of how to put away ahead, a low and accurate. Rangers back though, the header and again Leighton down very quickly indeed and happy to see that one finally rebounding over the Aberdeen bar. McCoist again, the cross and this time it's Robert Fleck who turns well but Leighton once again is there to turn it away. Peter Nicholas too sadly was involved in a nasty looking injury, a clash with Ali McCoist and although it looked bad, Ian Porterfield reckons Nicholas will be back within a couple of weeks. Ali McCoist this time only eight yards out and again that man Leighton is down proving why he is Scotland's number one. And then near the end, Aberdeen very nearly made it to this free kick from Jim Bett and the header just drifting beyond Chris Wood's left-hand post. Well, after the match, Graham Souness was clearly choked by the injury to his captain. This morning, though, after visiting Butcher in hospital, he was still shaken, but a little more philosophical. It was an accident. He doesn't blame anybody. Um, he's been in football long enough to realise that these things happen. And really, his only aim now is to get himself ready as quickly as possible. What's the degree of injury? Well, he's fractured his tibia, which is his shin. Um, the specialist feels that um, it'll, knit, it'll knit itself um, without any surgery. So um, we're hopefully be ready for Europe, if not before.